Solution. I'm Christopher Tina from X Solution Center. And today we're going to revise uh, a question in Structures 1, the paper that was done in October, November 2022. Normally this paper consists uh, take three hours and it consists of two sections, that is Structures 1 and Construction Material. So particularly in this video, we are, uh, we are going to revise on uh, Section A, Structures number 4. And the uh, Section A, number 4, the question says, a density test was conducted in a, a milled steel rod. The following result were obtained. So the diameter of the rod, we are given the diameter of the rod, the, the diameter of the road as 50 millimeters. Then we have been also given the gauge length or the length of the road as 400 millimeters. The, we have also been given or the, the, the result that we obtained here is the load at yield point. So the load at yield point is 170 kN. Then we have the extension at a load of 50 kN. It was measured to be 0 0.05 millimeters and uh, then we have the maximum load uh, the maximum load under the result it was 250 kilonewton so finally the length at fracture so the total length at, at fracture it was 450 millimeters so this question we have been asked to determine the we have been asked to determine the Young's modulus yield stress maximum stress and percentage elongation. So the first thing here, we have been asked, asked to or determine the Young's modulus. So basically this is the formula of getting the Young's modulus. This is the formula and we have, we have various ways of, of getting the Young's modulus. And we know that Young's modulus, Young's modulus E is equivalent to stress stress over strain is basically stress over strain so this is another way of finding uh, finding Young's modulus whereby stress we know stress we can find is force over area and also strain is a uh, strain is change in length Original length, so we can find that. Eh? We can find that. But particularly in this video, in this in this case, we are going to utilize this formula. This is the formula that we are going to utilize. We are going to utilize that formula. And then, so so from this point, then. So we know we know we, we know the length. We have been given the length from the equation as 400 millimeters. Then the load. This load here, the extension of the load. So because we want to utilize this extension, we have to consider this load of 50 kilonewton that gave us gave us the extension. Because in this formula, basically we have the change in length. And the, the change in length, this change in length, it was caused by this load here, 50 kilonewton. And then we, from the question, we also have the diameter, and from the diameter, you can find the area. And this basically is a, is a circular. This is a circular, um, because it's, we have the diameter, this means it's a circular, it's a circular in shape. This road is circular in shape. And this road has uh, this, this, this cross section here, it has a diameter of 50, 50 millimeters. So to find the area, to find the area, we have to apply the formula of finding the area of circles. And the area of circles equal to pi d squared all over 4. So the formula here is pi, uh, pi d squared all over 4. So if we do the, if we substitute the equation here, we have pi by, pi by 50 squared all over 4. And basically we will get the result as 1,963.5 millimeter squared. So back to this uh, formula, back to this formula, because basically now we have everything that we need. We have all the data we need. We have the length, we have the force, we have the change in length, 
we have the area. So we can substitute uh, these values in this equation so that we can get the Young's modulus. So we substitute the values to get the Young's formula. So uh, remember that here is 50 by 10 raised to the power 3 because we have to change this kilonewton into newton. And we do so by multiplying it by a thousand. That's why we have here 10 power 3. And if this length was in meters, if this length was in meters, we would have changed it into millimeters. But at this, at our, in this equation, it is in the millimeters. So we have to leave that. In this case, we have to leave it like that. Then we have the extension. We have the area. And if we compute this uh, correctly, I hope you can get this 2.04 times 10 raised to 5 newton per millimeter squared. So the, 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 the units of measure of young modulus, the unit of measure is newton per millimeter squared. Basically, we, we utilize, the, we utilize the, 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 the standard form of, of numbers because this number will be very long. So, but, but because we utilize the standard form, in, so in basically engineering, we utilize the standard form of numbers. And then the second question starts to define, that is it, that is the answer for the young modelers. Then the second question said yield stress. And basically, if we want to find the, the stress, stress at, at yield, um, yield stress, we have to utilize the force, force that give force at yield point. So we have to utilize the load at the yield point. Uh, and basically we know that force equal to, I mean stress equal to force over area. So basically yield stress equal to the force yield over area. And from this point we have, we have the, so we have the force, we have the force uh, at yield as 170 kilonewton. We have the diameter because from that diameter we can find the area and we also we have also seen clearly how we can find the area from the above. So basically the same. And then this is the area. So if you substitute this correctly in this formula, we get this area. Basically the same as the area above. And then we have to substitute now. We have all this value because we have the force, we have the area. So we have these two important important um, we have the force, we have the area. So, if we substitute that correctly, remember again here we have to change this. We have to change this um, this force into newtons. We do so by multiplying it by a thousand. That's why we have here ten raised to power three. And if we if we compute that, we will be able to get as eighty eight point five eight newton per millimeter square squared square as our answer. So that is it in that uh, the yield stress. Then we had to go to the maximum stress, basically the same that we know that stress equal to force over area. But particularly in this case, we have to use the maximum uh, load, maximum load, and also the area. So here yeah, we say that maximum stress is equal to uh, force at maximum and also over, over area. So if we do so, we know we have the data here, the force at maximum, max or the maximum load here force is 250 kilonewton we have the diameter basically you can find the area from that given diameter and we have seen from the previous sections uh, so that is it that is our area then we have we have the force and we have the area simple we substitute those values in the above equation and if we do so if we do so we can be able to get uh, 127.3 newton per meter squared remember here we, I, I also ins I always insist that we have to change this kilonewton into newtons. And by doing so, we multiply that kilonewton by a thousand. That is why we have here 10 raised to the power 3. All over, all, all, over, uh, all over area, the area is 1963.5. And basically, if we compute these things correctly, we will be able to get 127.3 newton per millimeter squared so uh, finally we have uh, in the question we have to we have to get the percentage elongation here percentage elongation we have to change we have to take the change in length change in length all over the original length uh, by, by 100 so 
Basically, from this, we have the length at fracture, so that is the final length, is 450 millimeters. The original length, the gauge length of road, is 400 millimeters. So if we want to find the change, uh, the change in length will subtract 450 uh, by, we subtract 400 from 450 millimeters. Basically, we get 50, and then we'll divide by the original length or the this, or this was the original length is 400 and will basically multiply by a thousand. And if we do so, if we do so, we shall be able to get 12.5 uh, cent. Basically, this is the end of uh, the end of that question. Uh, I, if this video is uh, is of help to you, kindly share, subscribe, comment, ask question on the comment section. And also, uh, don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe to this channel, you will always be assured to get the new content uploaded on a daily basis. And just get some notification so that this knowledge can help you not only to be to, to, to pass your examination, uh, but as well as being competent in the field of uh, construction field. And for those who wish to be future structural engineers, this is the course. This is the this is the. This should be your love subject. So that is the end by. See you in the next session.